Spirits high at Lamar University's pep rally tonight. Their bonfire was called off due to the county's new burn ban, but that didn't stop students from kicking their homecoming festivities into high gear. 12 News reporter Kyle Orr is out there. Kyle, uh, you've been at the pep rally all evening. How are students feeling ahead of Saturday's big game? Well, a few of them were disappointed. I mean, as you can see behind me, the bonfire is unfortunately not lit, but LU said no bonfire. No problem. If there if the uh, the student faculty's excitement was any proof, the fire was always burning. While these wooden pallets stay stacked, I've loved the bonfire each year, but I understand why we aren't doing it. The Lamar University cheerleaders and dance team took the lead as students across campus made their way to the annual homecoming pep rally. We get to do what we love and just dance in front of our community. Cheer team co-captain Sally Crosby is ready to get fans and alumni fired up their way. My favorite part is the alumni because they get to come to the game with us and they cheer with us. We get to stunt with them. It's my favorite part. As the students walk in, what's going on now, you? The Cardinal spirit was alive from the student body to faculty. That might be the first time I've ever danced in my life. My wife's never seen me move or anything. <laughs> Lamar president Dr. Jaime Taylor says the homecoming pep rally allows students to let loose, build camaraderie, and eat great food on the road to graduation. The, most of the activity happens outside the classroom. Building this kind of camaraderie really helps keep them in school. You see the cardinal energy here anytime. Uh, I'm always looking for a good time here at Lamar, so that's why I'm here. Senior Jonas Smith is confident the Cardinals will come out on top against the SFA Lumberjacks. We're going to destroy them. What else can I say? <laughs> Make sure you come out and support your Lamar Cardinals this Saturday because kickoff starts at 3 p.m. Live at U Lamar University, Kyle Orr, 12 News.